quick question I ask people all the time is what software version mill do you have? And they always say, I don't know. I don't wanna turn the machine off because I have to rehome everything. So here's how to do it if the machine's already on. If you're on the alarms page, which is a good page to be on, just press the parameters button once, then the diagnostics button. It's the same button, it's a double function. And you'll page down through the inputs. On the inputs page in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see VER. Now, if you have an old CRT screen, it's gonna be probably mill version six through mill version 12, or it could be lathe version two through lathe version five. Let's go to a newer machine. If your newer machine has an LCD screen, it's almost the same. Press the parameters button once, press it again. You're on the diagnostics page. It popped right up, mill version 13, 18. Now, if you don't see it at the beginning, you just page down until it pops up. So you're running mill version 13 if you have a small LCD. Let's go big LCD. This machine, same thing, parameters, diagnostics. It showed right up, VER version eight. So if we page down, you can see there are some other pages, but you'll eventually find there's the MoCon version and the model of your machine. Let's go to another version, newer version. Press the parameters, diagnostics, you're getting it now. It's version nine. This is also lathe version. So you might think this is newer, but older version. It's because they progressed slower through the lathe version softwares than they did the mills. Newest, this is the latest, what they call main con version. So if we go parameters, diagnostics, and this up here is gonna have gauges, which I think are really pretty, and they just kind of reconfigured it. So software, VER, mil 1829D. The last and the latest is if you have an NGC machine. Different pages, but the same button. Press the parameters button, and then we're gonna go over on these tabs. You can go up and down, but we're gonna go over to parameters, and then if you're on features, go all the way over to activation, and we've got 119 and the subversion. This character right here, the second set of numbers, one nine, that's the year, so it's 2019. You could have probably version up to 15, that's kind of when they started releasing these, or up to 2025. That's all the versions and how to check them. If you wanna have that ready when you give us a call, it'll help us troubleshoot your machine and we'll know kind of what to bush and what problems you might have based on the year and the version.